Which local stocks are favoured by the overseas investors? Well, of course, last week it was Nasbest right at the end of the week because the share price went up by 9%. But what else, including that one? In the studio with me now is Avine Pillay from Old Mutual Wealth. Avine, um, there are so many stocks that local uh, fund managers tell me no, they're far too expensive, but the overseas chaps come in and buy them willy-nilly. They just keep driving them up. Well, if you look at the flows over the last two weeks, uh, the stocks that were on the top of uh, investors' lists were Naspas, Aspen, Sunlum, and MTN. And these stocks recorded the biggest inflows into the market over the last two to three weeks. I wonder if they're right or not, David. I mean, if you were an overseas investor, for example, would you be buying these things at these lofty elevations? Pro probably Aspen and uh, Naspas. Sunlum maybe, but uh, some of the retailers, you know, if you looked at Mr. Price today, they actually said that 54% of their uh, investors now are, uh, are foreign. So, Avin, where's, I mean, there's been huge inflows into the, um, uh, into the retailers, you know, which I hold responsible for some of these lofty prices. Um, do you see this continuing? Are you monitoring these as well? I believe that as long as we produce uh, the good results, uh, these retailers will continue to outperform. If we look at Mr. Price, Mr. Price has consist consistently outperformed the market over the last 10 years plus. And we also need to understand that foreigners are comparing these top South African retailers to the best global retailers. So they're not merely looking at Mr. Price relative to other retailers in South Africa. They're looking at Mr. Price relative to uh, Intertex, uh, the, the Spanish listed company. So it's not merely being compared to the South African retailers. Evin, it's Nozipo in Johannesburg. In your newsletter, you also make mention of the fact that uh, international investors are liking the idea of this cashless trend that we're seeing in emerging markets. Uh, maybe let's talk about not maybe so much of an emerging market, maybe a frontier market, Nigeria, that has really gone strongly for, in terms of a policy perspective to try and move to a cashless society. To what extent would uh, a, a market like Nigeria, the opportunities for cashless uh, uh, societies in Nigeria, be a, a big impetus for a, an international investor? Well, I mean, if you look at uh, some of the uh, major credit card companies, Visa, MasterCard, uh, American Express, they've all been rolling out extensively in Africa. So, and it's also some of the other emerging markets. So we've seen uh, quite a big move to the uh, cashless market over the last couple of years. Do you think that um, some of the stocks that we've seen up on the screen now, uh, Avin, are, are up there because South Africa is a small part of their portfolio? We've been talking earlier on about how small uh, the, the, the market that we talk about every day is. And, and therefore, uh, if someone pushes a button in Frankfurt or London or New York, then it disproportionately pushes the stock. Is that, is that the case with a, a share like Aspen, for example? Is there a case for it listing elsewhere on, a, on another market to make it more liquid? I think that'll address the liquidity problem, but in terms of the price action, I think it'll, it'll be similar. So whether Aspen's listed in South Africa and in UK, I think you'll still have a lot of money chasing a few good stocks. Mm. So and these are good stocks, aren't they? they are whether good you stocks. say that their PE shouldn't be where it is, that the, these are good stocks. They is there anything that uh, d sort of worries you about these, uh, again, about the, the price earnings ratios? No, I think, I think you know, the, the issue that a lot of these companies face is that the growth starts to slow down, then we will see these stocks being derated. So I think as long as they can continue to grow their franchise, they, they will see their price appreciate. Yeah, I think um, as long as the momentum is with these stocks and as long as they keep on doing what they do, then long may their success continue. Aveen, thanks very much for your brief time this evening. That was Aveen Pillay uh, from Old Mutual Wealth.